Hello and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance from the Clover in the Woods server. Back at Kaleos base still, or Kaleos castle, palace, whatever. There's so much more, <laughs> there's, there's so much more stuff we haven't seen yet. So let's just quickly, we have to, yeah, I have to cover a lot of ground in this episode, so we'll try to make this quick and just take quick peeks at everything. Uh, these are looking really interesting, I don't know what they are. These little blue thingies, I don't know. There's also a huge furnace area with uh, some nice gold blocks and, and nether brick and lava stone. It all looks very nice. That's a nice idea. I brought iron hoops. So lava in there. Very nice. These are facing the right way. <laughs> So no need to rotate them. Some more crates and stuff, very nice. Uh, let's go up here, because I don't even know where we are now. I mean, I know where we are, I just don't know how this connects up here. Oh, this is so laggy, I always feel like I'm falling off. <laughs> it's still raining, by the way, which is not great. Lava stone, very nice. Oh, this is just right here. Okay, uh, we've been up there, we've been over here. Yeah, I think we've seen most things. We haven't seen this. Some nice stuff in these ones. That makes more sense than the peach that we found earlier. This looks interesting. Can't really tell if it's supposed to. Oh, and there's a shortcut up here, I guess. That's, that's nice. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to rotate them with redstone. That would be even even nicer if you could like have a, maybe a pressure plate and then it's just all, they rotate your way, facing your way. And it would have to make a cool sound too, like a stone on stone clanking type sound. That would be great. I don't think there is a way to rotate them like that. I don't know though, I, I, I'm not sure. This tower still is a mystery because I don't I don't have any ender pearls, so I I, I don't have a way to get up there. Pretty sure. I'll try one more time. Or have I been up in this tower even? Maybe there's just nothing up in these towers. No, see there is stuff. There is a ladder in there, going up or down, I guess. But how do you get to that? Where's the way in? Where's the way up here? Have I been up there? Is this the garden? No, there was a different garden, right? The garden I've seen was up there. I think. <laughs> Even if she doesn't try, Kelly has a way of making her builds <laughs> hard to navigate. Can definitely make this jump though, right? Yes, we can. Right, nice, nice, nice. More garden area here. Oh, and there's a there's the entrance. Uh, where does this go? This goes. Oh, over here. Okay, very well hidden. If you don't know it's there, there's no way you find this. <laughs> Nice little sitting area out here. But still, no way to get into that tower. <laughs> I thought there would be a connection here, but maybe not. Maybe there's another secret way up that I just missed so far. Uh. Ah, the two weights. No, we've been in here. There was, there was no ladder, right? There is a ladder. Wow. All the way in the corner. Okay. There's probably one in the other one, then, as well. Who knows? I don't. I've lost track. Uh, music disc stuff. Typewriter. 
uh, typesetting table. That looks nice. I don't think I've seen that block. Compass in a, in a um, case again. And another scary staircase up. I wish it would stop raining. I wish Andrew could hear me and just stop the rain. Then it wouldn't be me cheating, it would be him. Where's that block up there? Just the one in the middle looks off. Somehow. Okay, so that's, that's that. I think we're just gonna leave it at that though. I'm sure there's more, at least on that one tower, that we haven't been able to access yet. And probably that other one as well. <laughs> But yeah, we've wasted, well, it's not wasted time, but we've spent a lot of time here already. Wait, is there? Uh, is this faster to go? I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't make this jump because I can't jump. There's a ladder right here. I have not seen this. I'm blind, really blind. <laughs> it's not even hidden in this in this case. I just I'm just blind. I mean, it's not super obvious, but I should have seen it anyway. I'm sure there will be comments in the first episode. <laughs> ah, road lines. That's a nice idea too. Another room of stuff. Lots of typewriters up here and cookie jars, okay. And then all the way up here we have... Probably not much, but we'll check it out because we're here already. Uh, I think I got stuck on that... kind of rubber thing. Maybe, I'm sure. And it stopped raining, sweet. Dark fancy workbench, sweet. It wasn't really worth it to come up here for. Now the question is, can I just jump off this into some water here or will I die if I attempt that? Because I don't have feather falling. <laughs> I will definitely die if I don't hit water. This looks like it is water though, right? Is this too far? I can never tell. Oh, it's not water. <laughs> ah, what a great, what a great, yeah, that was great. It really looked like water from up there, but as I got closer, it definitely wasn't. It looked like one of those little lake things. Very smooth, very smooth. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> What's the quickest bay back there? Good thing I don't care about my levers. Uh, Andrew's castle. This is basically how <laughs> this last few days of recording stuff for when I'm gone has been going, though. Just partially my fault, but mostly just stupid things that I don't know. Yeah, not good. I hope I don't sound too annoyed or tired or whatever, but I kind of am, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what's the best way out of here again? I keep forgetting, all right, through here. But this is not the best way to go, because I need to go... Where do I need to go? It really looks like water from up there, because it's like, when it's dark, the water's almost black. And it has a little bit of a, I don't know, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone in the comments will tell me that it was obviously not water, but I'm fine. Uh, where, do, where is that? Or we were there. I don't think it should despawn. If it despawn, if my stuff despawns, I'm in trouble. Because I'm very poor. Oh yeah, there's grave stuff, I forgot about that. I don't die enough in this, so I'm not even aware of that. But yeah, there's my grave marker. I wonder if I could have made it to that, but I think it's too far. 
maybe it's really hard like the the bar jumping out if there's no bar maybe it's possible but i think i would have hit that bar like from down here it's obviously not water but it really looked like that from up here i stand by that ah all right at least that's very convenient sweet We'll leave it here. <laughs> I don't think that's the one I set as my grave, though. It has to be, it has to have reset at some point. See, it could be water. <laughs> if this would just update, this would have been water down there. Ah oh, man, so bad. Okay, got our stuff back. Who cares, right? All right, so let's continue this tour. We'll just move away from here. And never come back. No, we'll definitely come back. This is a really nice place. Um, and everyone playing on the server should definitely check it out in person. That kind of sucks. But not much you can do about it. I should make a boat. But I hate boats. So we'll swim. I don't even have the swimming boots yet, uh, what are the card? I don't even remember what they're card. I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm slurring a lot too. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm just really tired. Like I have a really hard time speaking. Or like not speaking, but you know, announcing properly is t difficult at this stage. And I, uh, yeah. Well, whatever, let's talk about it, I don't care. I still have five more things to record if I want to fill all the slots, which is probably not gonna happen, because uh, it's kind of late on the day before I leave, so it's not looking good. And I started very early this year pre-recording. I even started pre-recording for the week before, um, like two weeks ago, I started pre-recording. So I had like the whole week pre-recorded so that I would only have to record stuff for while I'm gone during this week and it's still still nothing worked out. I lost two and a half four days due to unforeseen things and then I just fell behind and couldn't catch up and then there weren't any maps to play. And I played some maps that I didn't I hated playing after a little bit and yeah. Not not a good week. Let's go to entrance first. Ouch. It's not a good spot to be teleported to. Should change the coordinates. So I have no idea what everything else in this is. I'm, I'm, that's probably all. If I had to guess, I would guess that those are, well, the rare tree park is, I don't know why they are flickering like that. It's, I feel like I'm losing my mind. They are really flickering though, right? They're moving like, I'm, uh, <laughs> I should not be sitting here. Let's go to the rare tree park. I hope there's a teleport back. Because if there isn't, I won't be able to find my way back home. <laughs> uh, that looks like a pressure plate, so I assume that takes me back. Where am I? Down here, okay. Andrew's rare tree park. Yes, an Andrew build. That's what I thought these would, these would be. Okay, and then aquarium. Fish Lake, no, not Fish Lake, the aquarium. Yeah, 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 okay. Sweet. Are there rare trees in one spot? Or most of them, at least? It's very nice. But I have I have so much more ground to cover here. It's just quick, really quick peaks, Mario Valley. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> I assumed it was going to be Super Mario, but you, never, you can never be sure, I guess. But this is really nice. <laughs> That's a cool idea. <laughs> some nice pixel art. Luigi and Princess Peach and some what are these guys called? I can't I can't think. Goombas and Yoshis. Is it the no that's not a Yoshi, that's a ah not Yoshi is the thing. <laughs> the other thing. What is this thing called? I forget. I can't remember. 
ghosts and the mushroom thingies. I don't even know anything. That's a nice coin. That's really cool. Where does this go? Just closer to these builds? Oh, and then out of here. It's nice. And it's right in between stuff right here. Nice. Great, great. I really like this. This is fun. It's a good, nice, fun build. And I, I like the I like the, the spot you picked too, Andrew. It's nice. It's like perfect for this kind of thing. <laughs> he keeps turning away from us. Or we keep turning away from him. I'm not sure which way. Maybe I'm lagging or he's lagging. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, giant fish. Let's check this out. Oh, I guess I teleported. Did I teleport both of us? I did. I guess it's an at A instead of an A. a. Or not, well, no, it shouldn't be at A. It should be at P. Maybe he also stepped on it just after me. I don't know. So what am I looking for here? A giant fish lake. Ah, okay, there it goes. Now I see it. Very nice. Yes, I see it now. Took a little while. It's like he can hear me. <laughs> Andrew's reading my mind again. Well, I mean, he wasn't really reading my mind last time. He was just listening to the stream. But it felt like that because I didn't know he was actually listening. This time, though, he has no way of hearing me. I hope, I, <laughs> I hope I'm not accidentally streaming this. That would be funny. That's very nice. Is it just the one fish? It's just fish, but you know, fish, fish, fish. There's no. How many praises? Uh, three, right? <laughs> I've tried. I don't remember. Uh. And I guess Kileo's thing and in your castle too. So it's five total for the tour, but three of your little builds out in the world. It's very nice. Yes, the aquarium. It's the next one. I guess let's go back. Uh, there we go. To the aquarium. Oh, that's nice too. Stained glass. Looks like ice almost. It's of sharks up there and stingrays. I'm sure lots of other stuff as well. Squid. That's really nice. On lit up outside too. To make it nice and bright. That's a very cool idea too. I think they changed how how water renders on like transparent blocks, right? At some point. Oh, that's really trippy. <laughs> that looks really scary <laughs> for some reason. It looks like yeah, the abyss down there. It's crazy. Really nice though. Any any veils around? Let's just sit, have a seat and look for a second. Let's just do this too. Very nice. That's a really cool idea. Can still see the moon. Where is it? <laughs> I don't see it actually. Ow! Getting off his, <laughs> getting off the chair. Hurts. Do I see the moon? 
Oh, there it is. Now I see it. Yes, you do. It's a nice touch. All right. So I think that's all of Andrew's stuff now and hopefully most of Kaleo's stuff. Where does this go? Up to the surface. What are those? Oh, lights from below. Nice. Nice big ocean. Where are we now exactly? Right here. Okay. That's really nice. It's like a minimal impact build. Uh, like you can't really see it even if you're like in this area you just see these four little lanterns um, but it's a really cool thing to explore still very nice that's also yeah that's a really nice idea to just add like little builds like that out in the world to 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 be explored and, and looked at and stuff beyond you know everyone's base that's really nice. Yeah, and hatches are, are nice for hiding entrances to things. Oh, back here, okay. Very nice. So now where do we go? <laughs> Uh, Scarlet Cat is pretty close. Uh, Snipes is down there. I don't know where everyone else lives. Tech Stomper hasn't played in forever, so I don't think it's worth it checking on that. Looney Pop is up there. How do I get there? I'm not sure. We've been at Kileo's place. Is that everyone? I think that's, that's mostly everyone. So Looney Pop and Scarlet Cat. Scarlet Cat is very close. We can walk that. Uh, if we go to, what's the quickest way? I'm not sure. Uh, Andrew probably thinks that we're following to uh, Kileo, but yeah, no, we've done that. I should have mentioned that, I guess, in, in chat there when he, when he talked about it, but I didn't. Uh, where's the... S I'm so turned around. To the subway, there we go. So we go... I guess it's the fastest way, maybe? Yes, I have. Oh, but there's no way back out to... Right. I guess we can ask Andrew, maybe he knows what happened here. Do you know... I can't type. Uh, to the spawn portal. Because it definitely exploded, and I have no idea how it could have exploded. Mm. Unless someone blew it up with TNT, because mob griefing is off. I don't think there's a way for a ghast or a creeper or anything to destroy <laughs> any blocks here, so I've, I'm really not sure. And it has, to be, have, it has to have happened fairly recently. No one has said anything, okay. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, someone has to have been here for that to happen. 
maybe I caused it by going through, no I didn't, I, I came through here. So yeah, I didn't blow up that portal, it was already blown up. I'm innocent, I have, I have video evidence. <laughs> Um, let's see, Andrew. It looks like Andrew is maybe coming back here. We can show him. We can make a new portal. It's not. It's not a big deal. It's just weird that no one said anything about it being exploded. <laughs> I hope the items don't blow up. Maybe not actually. Where is he? Where is he now? Where's that? 289. Is that where I am? <laughs> I don't know where this is. Is this over there? Is he in the nether? I can't tell. I need to move on a tour. Because <laughs> time is, is scarce. Oh, everything despawned now. I guess that makes sense. Is this the portal that spawned? Maybe that's the portal that spawned, but then he will come out over here as well. Maybe. Or maybe it made a new portal? Not nether portals are really weird. I don't know where any of these coordinates are. Uh, 104? 22.5? I have no idea where that is. I'm just really confused as to how this happened. But this is definitely an explosion. Like there's parts of the floor missing, glass knocked out all the way over there. I don't know, <laughs> very, very strange. new too I mean this is just I mean this just looks like a an innocent way out into the nether because someone needed quartz or netherrack or source sand or bones from the bone fragments but this <laughs> this is just weird I don't know what what else is there anything in the packet that blows up I don't know I'm wasting time. We need to move on to the tour. I guess I'll cut away here and I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the next base. And here we are again. <laughs> Not in the net anymore. Not worrying about the mystery of the exploded nether portal. Uh, but we're over here at uh, Scarlet Cat's home. Which is very close to my original starter house, but not like I'm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not living there anyway, and I think it's a fair distance anyway because this is like this is spawn, so it's almost the same distance as uh, from here to spawn and from here to my my house. It's just the same. It's a huge um, lavender biome, lavender field, and it's a nice little house. <laughs> oh. Well. Well, yeah, there are pressure plates there. Oh, that's nice, like a, yeah, uh, what is that, like a... <laughs> you open the door and you still have a door. <laughs> that's nice. That's, I don't think I've seen that before. That's probably a safe drop, but it's probably just a mine down there, so I don't think we'll check that out. Nice storage area. Ah oh man, everyone's much more organized than I am. <laughs> Which is not surprising. A nice fridge. With a safe behind it. And there's actually stuff in the safe. That's that's a really neat little trick. I like that a lot. Um, let's see what else do we have. A presser, a furnace, all the normal stuff. Very nice. 
and an unfinished bedroom up here. But this downstairs area looks really nice already. And then out on the porch is a horse. I don't, no, I don't have a horse yet, right? <laughs> I need to get one. Even though they're kind of annoying and leggy a little, that's still a good way to cover lots of distance while exploring. If you can avoid dying, that is. Little chicken coop. Or in purple, of course, here <laughs> in the lavender fields. But not like not aggressively, so, so it's it's it works very well, I think, with the check around the wood. And the dark is it dark oak? Might be dark oak. It's carpet, so I can't tell. I could knock out the block, but I'm too lazy. Uh, and then over here the farmland, I guess this is already farmland. Is this marker so far off or is there more stuff this way? I'm not sure. Uh, maple, eppers, peppercorn, what else? Plums. That's a nice collection already. Pears and walnuts and nutmeg, chestnut, avocado. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a good collection of stuff already. I don't, I don't have many fruit trees yet. I have cherry trees, and that's basically it. I could have more, but yeah. But yeah, you can't even see the end of the, the biome, so I guess definitely far enough away from everything. Because there was a worry at one point, apparently. <laughs> but it's 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 definitely far enough away. Already cleared out some more of the lavender here for more trees, maybe? Or other farms? Is there more stuff this way? Does not look like it, no. All right, that's, is that it? Is there more? I don't want to miss stuff, but the thing is I don't really know how many things everyone has built. So unless I see something, I have no idea it exists. Uh, there's a ravine up here apparently. It's Andrew's starter house. I wonder, has anyone has anyone bothered to try and find all of Andrew's signs that he left? I, I I don't think I've even found every single one of them, so that could be another challenge for the people on the server. Other than finding the secret clover spots, or three of them, I think there are three of them. <laughs> I'm not sure now. A fish trap here. Those windows are nice. Japanese style works very well with this car car pellet. Um, so I guess we just have one more person to go then, which is somewhere up here, maybe. Right here, I think, right? Looney Pup's house, yes. This is what we need to look at, I think. I think Looney Pup usually, or originally lived somewhere down here. I don't remember though, if that was the case or not. Maybe she moved? Yeah, down here. Somewhere. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just run up there and bolt across. Maybe. And I hope I didn't miss anything here. It's a very nice house. And the chicken coop and the nice, it's its just a nice biome. It's very purple and nice, <laughs> very pretty. And I think the build works very well in this setting. But I don't see anything else, so I assume that's it. And you know, that doesn't, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying it's not a lot because I have nothing, <laughs> really. I have this little hut that's kind of ugly and misshapen and then I have my my, my little hallway entrance to the dwarven thing that doesn't exist yet, so yeah. <laughs> and I've been playing much longer, so. I'm really not one to criticize. And we'll just keep going. Should I cut away? How long is this going to take? Where am I? It's going to take a little while. Um, so we'll cut away and I'll be right back.
All right, I've, I have not quite made it yet, but these are the signs <laughs> I meant, by the way, the Pioneer's Legacy signs. Uh, it's a nice lighthouse. And I, I don't think I've seen it yet. I knew there was a build down here from the map at spawn, but I didn't know what it was. But now I know, now I know. And we built this here. Very nice. And it's a good lighthouse too, because I saw it from a good distance away. So it does its job. And now we just have to boat all the way over here and hope for the best. I guess I'll just keep you with me for the trip, because uh, I'm I just I'm tired. Uh, it's not a good, good reason, but whatever. It is the reason I'm going with. Um... So yeah, as it stands right now, I think I have five empty slots towards the end of my trip, which you know it's not the worst thing. Um, I'm just not sure that the thing I've recorded for the late slot, the 10 p.m. slot, uh, is gonna get a lot of views. And it's not like, it's not super important that I get a lot of views, but I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know what my reasoning is, why I'm so obsessed with trying to fill all the time slots um, while I'm gone. It'll be fine without me. There are plenty of other YouTubers to watch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying. Um, I think I managed to do it two years ago and I almost managed to do it last year. I think last year I had two empty slots. Um, yeah, July just always happens to be a bad time for maps, I think. Or maybe that's just, maybe it's just, maybe, maybe, maybe every time is bad <laughs> for maps for nowadays. That could be, that could also be the case. Uh, there have been some good maps this year, though. I can't really complain too much, but it's just like on a, on a day to day kind of basis or week to week basis, there just aren't consistently maps that I really care about enough to play them and I'm you know I'm trying other things I'm trying adventure maps every now and then just downloading I'm, I'm trying most of puzzle most of the puzzle maps that get posted online um, but not a lot of them make it to YouTube and that's for various reasons some are just too easy or too boring or too over overdone like the the, the mechanic or the topic the theme of the maps just done over and over and over again and it doesn't appeal to me anymore or it's just broken or it's too, too just I mean I don't know I feel like I have to enjoy it to an extent for me to be able to actually record it and um, that's that's something I'm struggling with and the same is true to a larger extent for adventure maps there's just a lot of adventure maps that I I don't really care about that's a nice fail spawn right there um and then there's like, there have been a few horror maps recently, but I just, I, I don't really feel like doing that. Like I, I usually do some horror stuff, or I look for horror maps and horror things to do around Halloween, just for fun, I guess. But I'm not usually a big horror fan, so it's not something I'm really interested in right now. So yeah. And there haven't been any CTMs recently, any normal old school CTMs, so. That's the struggle right now. I also, I, I don't know. <laughs> I might be able to fill one more slot, maybe two more slots, but there'll be a few empty slots and it's, I'm gonna be fine with it. Um, Cause that's, that's just the way it went. I tried <laughs> and it didn't quite happen. What can you do? Um, and hopefully, hopefully when, when I come back, things will, like last year, I really struggled getting back into the groove of recording when I came back. And I just hope that it'll be better this year. But yeah, last year August was very weird, and then that kind of made its way into fall, into the far the horror. I don't know. Everything was weird. And I hope we can avoid that this time around. A cherry biome suite. Am I actually here? I don't think I am. I am. Wow, both desync is much better today. That's great. I don't, I don't, know, I don't even care where the boat went. It's gone. <laughs> but who cares? So this is Looney Pop's new area, apparently. There's a house up there somewhere, according to the thing. 
or a house in progress, at least. Nice storage area. Even 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 this like uh, recently started base apparently is better organized than I am. Carrots and weeds, candleberry, blackberry, nice. Signs for everything. All the different seeds growing here. All the different fruits and 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 vegetables and whatever else there is. That's a nice that's a nice layout for the farm. Is that floating? It is. It's still a nice layout though. And then uh, over here we have the fruit trees and stuff. But everything looks like it's almost everything you could want. Why is there a block missing? Why are why are so many trees missing blocks? <laughs> On this server. <laughs> I don't know. Cutting board and then the fruit stuff and tree stuff goes in here. Very nice. Um, but I think that that's basically it. I really hope I didn't miss anything or forgot. Or that I forgot anyone. I know Snipes has like a tree, but he hasn't played in forever. And Chrome has a little cave, but he hasn't done anything in forever either. So I don't feel too bad about omitting those two from the list of p things I visited during the tour. There's some more stuff down there we can go look at. And then I think that's it. I mean, Text Tomper hasn't played in forever. And uh, I think that's everyone, basically. <laughs> there are some more people whitelisted, but I don't know that everyone el anyone else is still actively playing or playing at all. So if I missed, you know, something, just let me know. Leave a comment or tell me on Discord or tweet at me. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll get to it when I come back. Uh, so it will be early August when that episode comes out and then um, yeah i'll try to stay up to date on what's going on with the server a bit more if, if, if it's streaming this more than recording it um and obviously i can just do like tours on stream as well so yeah just don't worry <laughs> if there's more stuff coming up that you want to be featured in in some form of video content then don't worry it got you um and I guess we're technically still looking for more people. Because um, right now we're never near capacity in terms of uh, concurrent players. Um, so I think we can still add a few more to the whitelist without running into any issues. Uh, so if you if you are looking for a Life in the Woods Renaissance server and if you feel like you would fit in here, if you feel like you can you know, be a decent person, not a jerk, if you, <laughs> you can't just Play nice with everyone, then you know, leave a comment uh, or join my Discord or something like that, and we'll we'll talk and see, and maybe add you. We haven't really declined a lot of applications yet, so chances are good to get in at least. So that is it for this tour. I'm really tired. I don't even know why I'm so tired. I, I I guess it makes sense that I'm kind of tired, but I'm like the extent of my tiredness is beyond anything <laughs> that is reasonable. Uh, I guess it's a good thing that I'm going <laughs> on vacation now. Well, not now, but soon. Tomorrow. But yeah, this is it for the tour. Um. Yeah, the, the teleport stuff, you know, just talk to Cleo, Andrew, or me when I'm back, and we'll set that up for you if you need or want teleports. Uh, you can also have more teleports, as you've seen at Andrew's base. I think that would make sense, like, if you have, um, like, little builds out in the world, you'll just have, there'll be one teleport from spawn to your base, and in your base you can have the teleports to those individual uh, builds if you have more than one area to, you build in, but, yeah. Is that poison? I don't know. This is it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.